hello guys so welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video how are you doing i hope you are good we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of if uh, my correct correct people have a day yes so uh, allegedly we don't hear say there is this set of women uh these people i think they are there in Elif uh, to see uh, that the king doesn't suffer too much in the hands of his wives because they know that kings uh, normally marry many women i know this men these women uh, some of them will be giving the king headache why some uh, will be giving the king peace but this time around uh, there's this set of women they called yellow uh, yellow jaws yellow jaws <laughs> yellow jazz uh -huh. that what they are seeing is that they see to the uh, piece of the palace if women that the, the, uh, the king marry gives him trouble so much they go there and they settle things for for the king with the oloris like this one now uh, they have been hearing all this why that the wives of oni of Ife, said that they are not going to leave the palace for for anybody not even for Queen naomi and they they have been hearing all this why that uh queen naomi have been outside the palace for some years right now because of these people said that they're not going to leave the palace for her and they have been hearing all this all the things they said that the girls have been saying concerning queen naomi's return and tade nikau so, but right now, why they say they stormed the palace is because they heard that the king have given instruction that the Oloris should leave the palace. But it seems like the Oloris are neglecting the king. This set of women, according to how we heard they are, they are elderly women that nobody disrespect them. They are elderly women. They, they organize themselves to see that the king leaves very well that nobody dis disrespect the king that um they make sure that peace there is peace in the palace if there is anything that the king tries to do that is so difficult for him to be able to achieve when these people come they will help the king to achieve that thing and uh, if they come to the palace to settle any issue maybe now as the king are telling the other to leave the palace and the Oloris are doing log ahead that they are not going to leave. If they give any instruction and anybody disobeys it, all other women, other other women in Ileife will come out and they treat that person's fuck up. Like for example, we heard that this uh, these people have heard uh allegedly, or don't forget that they are all alleged. These people have heard that um Olori Mariam and the room, okay, have once blocked Kunomi at the gate, saying that Kunomi is not going to come in, in her own husband's house. Like, these people, we are like, is this for real? That they have heard about it. My people, oh, hmm, let me smart in. They even said that when these people came to the palace, that they sent for security to go and call the Oloris. Allegedly, what we heard. They said that they went and called the Oloris because, you know, they return, they return, those of them that is in the palace, so not all of them that is in the palace. They went and called the Oloris and told them that the, the, the Yalo Joss, <laughs> that they are calling them. Yalo Jazz, that is what they call them, Yalo Jazz. That they are calling them. Hey, and then we are like, hey, these people, what, which, what brought them to the palace? They did fast, fast, and they went to see the those ladies those women because they, they know that it will be the offense time, number one i'll be offense number two so hey according to what we heard though they said that this lady have these women these elderly women that they have heard everything going on in the palace how uh olori mariam went to do some kind of juju against the and the thing backfired how uh olori Ronke, stole the king's protective charm 
how she entered into the, 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 the king's inner chamber. Every bit of what happened in that palace, they said that they said it to, to them, just to inform them that they know about it too, in case if they think that they don't know. So that they have to be careful. And the, these people, when they came, the old ladies, when they came, the elderly women told them that, that they have heard that you people refuse to leave the palace, Abby, that they are giving you mandate to leave the palace. Oh, hey, hey. I don't know how, how active these women can be, oh, but the way they said they respected them, you did not insult them, you did not even say nonsense to their face. Of course, you cannot insult them because they are elderly women. They are even, oh, some of them, they are even older than your own mama, as in your own mommy, the mother that gave birth to you, some of the oloris. Some of the, uh, the elderly women are even older than them. So insulting them is insulting your own mother. Yes? So they said that they gave them instruction and told them that, look, oh, we have heard everything that you people have been doing in the, in the palace. We have heard how, you, how you've been disrespecting the king. We saw, uh, we heard all of them. But right now, we are giving you mandate. For those of you that, those of you that say that Queen Nomi is not going to return back to this palace, that you are living with immediate effect. Hey, hey. My people, oh, don't forget that they are all alleged information. That they are living with immediate effect. If they even turn back to see them again in, in, in this palace, eh? hmm. that what they are going to do, they will not like it. That enough is enough. So how did them insult the king? Do you know who the king is? The king is the first son of the soil. Everywhere Yoruba people are, they respect the king. So how dare you people insult the king? Is because of what? If this king happened to be your father, will you insult him? If this, hey, they, they said a lot of things like, you know, women with wisdom. These women, they have wisdom. They speak with wisdom. Like after speaking to this Olori, some of them say, wanted even to cry. They left their different husband to come and torment another woman and her own husband. And at that matter, you still insist that she is going to, she's not going to come back to her own husband's house. That who does that? Who does that? And enough is enough. Oh, that those things will never ever repeat itself again. All of that is not going to repeat itself again. That you have to do something fast and leave the palace. Allegedly, that is what we heard do. My people, when they said that uh, they gave them instruction on how to leave the palace, some of them they started crying. Hmm. No says cry, no day they are cry, no day for that is their tears is not far from them. They started crying. Every time people will be they don't they did not complain to the face of these women because if they complain, anything that the women say that should uh, that should be done to them, eh? Other other younger women of Ilefe will not waste time to, to execute it. These people are like mouthpiece that bring peace to the palace. And whatever they say, stands. Even the king cannot even tell them not to say this. Anyway, that is the gist. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye.